In this video, I'm gonna take you through the four essential elements that every single one of your ads need in Google Ads if you wanna get more clicks and more conversions. What you always need to remember is that your ads are the first thing that people see. And especially in Google text-based ads where Google controls the font, the font size and the color so that your ads look exactly the same as your competitors' ads, your ad copy is the one core difference that you have to entice someone to click on your ad and not your competitors' ads. And that's why I'm surprised that so many people don't take any time at all when they write their ad copy for Google Ads and the ad just fades into a black painting on a black wall in a dark room in that you just can't tell it apart from anything else. What you want is you want your ads to stand out. So what I wanna do in this video is I wanna take you through the four core essential elements that you need to include in all of your ads so that you can get those valuable clicks and conversions for your business. And so that I can explain this in the best possible way, we're gonna jump into a screen share so I can take you through a presentation of what I prepared for this teaching today. All right, let's go. So these are the four aspects that need to be included in all of your ads. And the first one is that you do need to have a keyword focus. Now, the reason for why that is important is because remember in the first video of this Get Google Ready series, we spoke about how ad relevancy is highly important in that you wanna make sure that your ads are matching the user's keyword search, which is then also taking them to the most relevant page. So keyword focus is really, really important and it does help improve your click-through ratio as people see what they are searching. Now, this is the one area that most people include in their ads. So, but the problem is, is that most people have ads that only have keyword focus. So while keyword focus is highly, highly important, we do need to build on it with these other three core elements. And that's secondly, your brand mention. Now for me, this is a no brainer. You're paying for the ad, so don't waste the opportunity to get your brand name in front of people. This is especially true if you're a small brand. If you're a small brand, you wanna be getting your brand name out there so that you can increase that brand awareness. Now you're paying for these ads already, so you might as well include your brand mention in there. Now the third one is a strong call to action. And that's all about what do you want them to do today and what benefit will they get? Now, a lot of people will include a call to action, but I would say that it wouldn't be a strong call to action. And time after time, you see people just have a, you know, a call today or a shop now as their call to action. You want it to have be stronger. And the way that you can do that is you could add in some individuality. So for example, if you're a local business wanting to get more phone calls, if your name's Tony, rather than just saying call now, you could have call Tony today. And I found that that has had a really big uptick for local businesses. Another thing you could do as well is rather than shop now, you could attach it to a sale. So if you've got a 20% sale, you could have you know shop now and save 20%. That's a stronger way to increase the likelihood of the call to action being clicked on. And this then leads into this fourth one. And this is the one that most people miss out on. And that is about using emotional triggers, whether it's curiosity, amusement, you know, can you make them laugh, sadness or anger, fear. You wanna be building up that emotion because they're then gonna be more likely to click on it. And as I said, most people get the keyword focus, some people get the brand mention, most people get a call to action, but this is the big part where people fall down. They don't put emotional triggers. And what you wanna be doing here is especially, you wanna be building that pain or that intrigue. You want them to be saying, I've gotta click on this ad. And that's what you want for success in Google Ads. So what I wanna do is I just wanna take this a little bit further. So essentially what Google likes is, obviously Google likes the keyword focus. What the users like is they like that strong call to action and emotional triggers. So keyword focus is is really helping Google with its relevancy, but the call to action and the emotional triggers is that's the why. Why would someone click on your ad? So what you need to be thinking about when you're writing your ad copy for Google Ads is that you need to give them a reason to click on your ad. So what I wanna do here is I wanna show you three of my historically best performing ads. So this is the first one. We've got one bedroom Villa Seminyak, sale on now, save up to 45%. And this was the emotional trigger, the skinny dip in your own pool. I inbuilt some curiosity and humor. And how that came around is that in this particular niche, everyone was writing down that they had your, you know, swim in your own pool, private pool villa. Everyone was saying that. So we flipped it and he said, well, why don't we do something like skinny dip in your own pool? It brings in that intrigue of, can I skinny dip in my holiday? And year after year, this is still the best performing headline for 
us. Then there was another one, which is just quite a simple one, keyword focus, and then the fear by removing the fear with the guarantee. So we had the guaranteed best price. And then there's another one, which is a keyword focus and then a strong call to action, saving 45%. And those last two, we built up that emotion through either the fear of missing out or by the enticement. There was a short sale where they could save up to 45%. So when it comes to writing your ads in Google Ads, the main thing I want you to remember is to be different. Do something different to what your competitors are doing. And a great tip that I also wanna give you is that when you are writing your ad copy, I always like to do a Google search for the keywords that I'm gonna be targeting. Have a look at what my competitors are saying and then see, are there any opportunities where I could make my ads different and stand out from the crowd? Because that is gonna be your best chance for increasing the number of clicks which your ads are gonna be getting. Now, once you've initially set up your ad copy, it is highly, highly important for you to go through and do some proper split testing. And that's why I wanna give you access to my Google Ads Optimization Checklist. And this is a checklist which you can download for free, and it takes you through all of the different optimization actions that you need to be completing in your Google Ads campaigns, like completing regular ad copy split tests. So if you wanna get access, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. And if you'd like to see some extra teaching on how I complete my split tests in Google Ads, you can go through and watch this video right here. And once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young. I'm from Define Digital Academy. I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads Master. And remember to not only subscribe, but turn on that notification bell so that you know when my next video in the Get Google Ready series is released. See ya.